Swindon Town's new manager Paolo Di Canio is due to arrive at the club this morning. The Italian will sign a two-year contract at the county ground with the option of a further 12 months. His appointment's been met with concern. Di Canio is a self-proclaimed fascist and has landed himself in trouble in the past for actions linked to his political beliefs. Paolo Di Canio will be presented as Swindon Town's new manager at a new conference later this morning. He's just landed at London's Heathrow Airport, where he was met by our chief news reporter, Brian Swanson. Can I just ask, no, no. why did you decide to become Swindon manager? Just a few answers. <laughs> You will know in the in the next uh, half an hour. No, but no, just 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 no, no. quickly. Can we just no, ask you what's fair. It's not it's not fair for the other people because I like England. I like the football here. So, but uh, for the other answer, I can. Uh, you can wait half an hour and then. Why did Why did you go to Sweden? Sorry, sorry. Because I like because the plan is good. No, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon. Paolo Di Canio has been unveiled as Swindon Town's new manager and there's rarely been a busier press conference at the county ground. It's the controversial Italian's first managerial job and he has the task of taking Swindon back to League One after their relegation this year. Well, David Passmore is at the county ground for us now. David, there seems to be a huge amount of interest in this new signing. Yeah, if the club wanted to create a buzz, they couldn't have done much better than this. Even when they appointed former managers such as Glenn Hoddle and Ozzy Ardelius, the interest wasn't a patch on this. Paolo Di Canio, he has great charm. He exercised that at the press conference. He's also a lot of contrast. He famously pushed a referee to the ground, but he also received a fair play award for catching a ball rather than scoring a goal and thus allowed a goalkeeper to get medical attention. He scored some thrilling goals but his right-wing views have upset many. I asked him a bit earlier about his reaction to the fact that some of the fans were upset about them. Everyone can speculate about uh, different opinion. It's not fair. It's not fair because uh, it doesn't mean anything. I'm here as a manager, uh, Paolo Di Canio man. Everybody knows him. Uh, I'm a normal person, so I'm sorry because, uh, of course, when there is a something negative like this, uh, a sponsor that leave the club uh, is not is not is not good. Uh, I'm not happy about this, of course. David, after having been such a high-profile player, how do you think Di Canio is going to cope with the move into management? Well, he's got a double problem, hasn't he? So first, he's moving from a player to become a manager. It's never an easy move. Manager's first season in charge is often a very difficult one. He's also moving from the Premier League to League Two. Now, whether he'll be frustrated with the player's skill level at this level remains to be seen. But, of course, he has great knowledge of football. And if he can impart just some of that onto the players at League Two level, then maybe he can produce a bit of a turnaround. That's clearly what the club are hoping. I asked him also, if he thought the club were taking a bit of a risk on him. Ah, oh, well, I'm afraid he, he denied it was a here at League Two, Swindon Town. Well, some sound problems with David there. I'm sure he'll bring you more on that story in our 6.30 bulletin tonight. OK, Paolo Di Canio has flown into England, of course, to be presented as Swindon Town's new manager. We can hear from Jeremy Ray, Swindon chairman, right now, see what he's got to say. It's a very, it is a very exciting time. Swindon's always had a bit of a reputation for being prepared to give an opportunity to new managers and we've had a pretty good track record of people who've gone on to be very successful and uh, I have no doubt that Paolo's going to do just that. Why was Paolo the standout candidate for you? Uh, I think I've gone on record of saying his, his, uh, his enthusiasm, his passion was pretty infectious from the moment he walked in the room. I was, uh, I was determined in the interview that uh, I wasn't biased in any way and that uh, it was important to have alongside me Nick, who's a very sort of sober assessment, and, and Russell Backhouse, our financial director, an even more sober assessment of what was required. Uh, as soon as Paolo started talking about the things that were important to him, it was very clear they were exactly the same things that were important to us uh, as what we considered was uh, the vital ingredients for the next manager of Swindon. Paolo, welcome to Swindon Town. Thank you. You've had opportunities to come to England in management roles before, so why Swindon? Why Swindon? Because uh, 
when uh, Phil called me and, and said to me that Wingo wanted to me, he wanted to meet me, and uh, at the first time I met uh, the chairman, the rest of the board uh, at Heathrow Airport a few days ago. So I, I saw exactly the same that the chairman said. So the enthusiasm and uh, the desire to to win, because uh, to be honest, uh, if they they ask me to come just for survive and give me ten times. Uh, money, you know, they wanted they give me now. I, I couldn't accept because I want to win. I think for the first step for me, it's important to choose the right place. It's important uh, uh, in the way the board thinking, and uh, I, think, I think exactly the same. I want to have success, I want to win, and uh, this is the best place. Unfortunately, because the club uh, was relegated last year, and uh, but I think that uh, around this club there is enthusiasm, the people want revenge. The people want to come back in the league, in the League One, and I want exactly the same. It's not important that we are in League Two because uh, as soon as we can, of course, uh, this is my uh, my plan, uh, is my idea. We want to come back in League One. So uh, because the plan of the club is to win, this was the most important thing. So for this, it was easy for me to accept uh, to to sign for Swindon. You arrived at the club for the first time this morning. What are your early impressions of Swindon? Oh, I was, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, when I was uh, up to the the plane uh, this morning, uh, you know, you you start thinking because uh, for me it's a, a start a new career. You know, now I'm a, a manager, not uh, a footballer anymore, of course. But uh, I'm sure about my knowledge, and uh, I'm sure about uh, my understanding of football. But of course, uh, you start thinking how to build the team. Uh, how to start because it's really important to start well. So the first impression was uh, to to look at the stadium and to think that uh, in uh, next year when uh, we are close to finish the league we were close to go to go up. You know. So of course uh, you 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 think uh, positive uh, viewing. You know and. Uh, and thinking the way you, you want the team play and uh, how to build the team. So this is normal in any job. You, you, you're looking forward about your future and you think positive. So for this, I'm excited. When I, I, I were closer to the stadium, I thought, well, one day maybe we're going to celebrate the war with, uh, with the people inside. Uh, this would be fantastic for everyone around here. Are you nervous about the role? Sorry. Are you nervous? nervous. No. No, no. No nervous. I I I feel uh, <laughs> exciting because I like the battle. I like uh, the responsibility. I like uh, to to compete. I like to to have a chance because uh, when I used to play 200 years, years ago now, but uh, I like to help the the players uh, to achieve their limits, their ambitions. As a footballer, you can imagine as a manager. So my 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 idea of football is to. To play good football, attractive football, uh, with desire, with passion. Um, so the, the fact that I have a chance to to build a team, to hand, to lead the team, so excite me so much, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we can have uh, we can make a good job here because already I have some players on the squad. And uh, someone will come definitely because it will be a good team. And uh, I have a idea, idea already in the way I would like to play. So I'm not nervous. I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, I, I have to thank uh, the Swindon Town. They're giving me a, a first chance. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy just for this. You played at the highest level. He's really happy. Really happy he said to that. be in Swindon. Yeah, it, it was good to hear about his philosophy. Quite what he knows about League Two football will be revealed in the future. He is ent entertaining, though, isn't he? So uh, we look forward to that. Uh, Paolo Di Canio, of course, so he's in. But uh, fellow Italian Carlo Ancelotti is looking for a new job this afternoon. And Paolo Di Canio begins his new job as Swindon Town Manager today. He was unveiled at a news conference at the League Two club this lunchtime. The former West Ham and Sheffield Wednesday striker has had a turbulent playing career, including a number of red cards. Now to Swindon Town's new manager, Paolo Di Canio. He flew into Heathrow this morning after accepting the job last week. The club will be playing in League Two next season, but despite that, the former West Ham forward still has some grand plans in the transfer market. We are nearly to, to buy Messi. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> why they laughing? I don't understand why they were laughing. <laughs> you want to win? I think for the first step for me, it's important to choose the right place. It's important uh, in the way the board is thinking and um, I, th I think exactly the same. I want to have success, I want to win and uh, this is the best place, unfortunately, because the club uh, was relegated last year. And, uh, but I think that uh, around this club there is enthusiasm. And what do you say to supporters and sponsors who may be concerned about your politics? But it's, uh, it's not good because uh, I think that, uh, uh, you know, they, have a, they lose a chance to come and watch a nice football. This is only, this, you know, it's, it doesn't mean anything because I think in the life everyone can think, can have his opinion. So it's important to respect each other. I look at a human being, you know, at a person. So it doesn't mean anything. Paolo Di Canio takes over at Swindon Town. But what did he have to say about his controversial fascist style salute? Swindon Town Football Club today introduced their new manager, Paolo Di Canio, to massive media interest. The former West Ham player, an idol to many fans, looked relaxed as he spelt out his plans for his first job as manager. But he was keen that his right-wing political views should not be part of the equation, as David Passmore reports. This contains flash photography from the start. Unprecedented interest in a new League Two manager. If Paolo Di Canio's success in bringing the national media to the county ground is matched by an increase in crowds, the club will be delighted. Paolo Di Canio won many admirers and worldwide recognition for his ability. This was voted goal of the season in 2000. There was the Fair Play Award for catching the ball rather than scoring so the keeper could get attention. But right-wing style salutes while playing for Lazio and his political beliefs have upset some in the game and caused a minor Swindon sponsor to pull out. But what are your politics? Are you a fascist? No, my, no this is a, uh, it's not a, a question to do a, a manager and a, to a politician. No, we are talking about football. And my private life is my private life. And my opinion is my opinion because otherwise but you have made it public. No, no, you have made it no, public. No, no, no. Otherwise, everyone we should speak ten hours. Otherwise, in life, everyone can judge the other people. This is not good because I think in life it's important that the man behave in the right way. That his his story speak for him. He's a good person with the other people and stop. But but everyone can have a political or religion or society opinion. So I don't want to talk about this because it doesn't mean anything. Fans waiting outside were delighted that such a charismatic player might rekindle success. I think football is the main thing, that's put Swindon back on the map. Let's give this town another buzz and hopefully we can win a, a trophy again next season. No, it's a great appointment, yeah, brilliant appointment. A bit of passion in it, a bit the, uh, the players won't uh, muck around with him in charge. Well, he's used to being a player and he wants to go into management, obviously, and uh, he's got to cut his teeth somewhere. Swindon seems an ideal place for him to start. De Canio is clearly ambitious, so is he using Swindon as a stepping stone to a larger club? I can't think about uh, over than a week, you know, but uh, if uh, we, we want to look over uh, far from now, uh, if uh, I will be manager in 10 years' time in a Premier, that is because I will have success definitely uh, at Window. Uh, that can be good for everyone. So with the signature finally on the contract, one of the great names of the Premier League tries to negotiate the tricky move from player to manager and placate a few of his critics along the way. David Passmore, BBC Points West at the County Ground in Swindon. Not since Fabio Capello was appointed England manager has an Italian made such waves in English football. Swindon Town Football Club today grabbed all the headlines by unveiling Paolo Di Canio as the new boss of the newly relegated League Two club. He was a player of undoubted talent but is unproven as a manager. And as our sports correspondent Matthias Kurt reports, Di Canio has often courted controversy. This report contains flash photography. A shower of flashlights rained down on the man used to bathing in the spotlight. Enter Paolo Di Canio, the showman, the entertainer. Come on, sorry. No. No, no. No nervous. I, I, I feel uh, exciting. Uh, we are nearly to, to buy Messi. <laughs> 
<laughs> why are they laughing? I don't understand why they were laughing. <laughs> Mamma mia. A lion can stay in a, in a cage, you know. A lion has to stay on the pitch. So this is my job, this is my life. But this lion's life has not always been so amusing. As a player, his skills were often overshadowed by his temper. And since an early age, Di Canio has been a self-proclaimed fascist, expressing admiration for Mussolini and several times caught giving Lazio fans the controversial Roman salute. So what does he say to his critics? I'm sorry for that situation. I would like, I hope one day the people who protest in this moment can change idea, can change opinion, and come and watch the game, a nice watch. Nice game to watch because we will play well, definitely. So uh, I'm sorry for them because they will miss the chance to, to, to see us. The truth is that when we came to appoint a manager, we had our own list of criteria. I didn't ask any of the candidates about their political beliefs. I didn't ask them about their sexual preference. I didn't ask them which god they worship. They're not really relevant questions to the role of football manager. Um, if I felt that any of those uh, views impinged on his ability to carry out the job for Swindon Town, then there's no way I would have made the appointment. Di Canio now wants to be judged on his managerial merit and believes he'll succeed. Can you get promotion? I'm here just for this. Uh, the plan is this, of course, and I accept it just because the club uh, gave, me, gave me the opportunity to, to see the future in this way, so otherwise I couldn't accept the job. On the pitch, Paolo Di Canio's career was never short of drama or entertainment, and Swindon Town will want more of the same from him as a manager. His charisma alone will ensure that he writes a compelling story here, but like an Italian opera, this could either be an enduring love story or a tearful tragedy. Matthias Kurt and Swindon for the West Country tonight. Because uh, the chairman, when uh, contacted me, show me their plan and uh, the plan for the window is win straight away so which best place to go for uh, try as a first chance uh, as a manager to to try to win so probably someone can ask uh, you will have a pressure but i live uh, i want to live under pressure because if you are manager you know that, that you have to live under pressure so this is a, a very good challenge for me uh, i I was excited when this window gave me a chance to, to sign the contract. Are they taking a risk with you? But um, every time you make a decision, you, you take a risk because everyone... I know that everybody can say, and this is true, that um, not many experience, not, not, not much experience, but this is normal. Some, somewhere uh, a young man should, should start, and uh, I think that sometimes when you have a... Uh, a place like Window that in the last months, uh, in the last few weeks, uh, uh, didn't have a, a nice life, you know, because the team was relegated. You need also probably a new idea, young, fresh idea with enthusiasm, you know, with exciting uh, idea and uh, to send the, the players that we stay here uh, after one bad season. So I think everything you decide can be a gamble, but I think that for Window will be a very positive gamble. You're used to playing at Premier League level, Swindon are at League Two. Yeah. Will that be difficult for you to cope with? I think, uh, uh, of course, uh, that uh, in Italy is the same. Uh, the uh, League Two is different than the Serie A, but uh, uh, we play 11 v 11, and the quality is not high level quality. I have to. Uh, only realize uh, uh, as soon as I can uh, uh, as individual player uh, their commitment uh, their passion their quality and this is a manager job at every level it's not important uh, if you are manager in premiership or in championship or league one or league two it's important uh, uh, if you can uh, with your knowledge with your experience uh, uh, as a footballer uh, now you transform this as a manager you understand as soon as you you can what team you got in your hand and the way you want to let them play as the best they can. You're obviously ambitious. Presumably you would like to manage in the Premier League one day. Are you using Swindon as a stepping stone? But it's not use. It's a bad word for me use because, uh, uh, of course, if this is happened in 10 years' time, it means that I have done a great job at Swindon. So it uh, would be fantastic for everyone. But uh, I can't uh, think uh, about my future o over the now because uh, uh, my brain is concentrated. It's focused to uh, Swindon town. 
uh, club. Uh, this is the most important thing because uh, you can't imagine uh, what job you have to do for build a team. Uh, you you say before it's difficult in League Two because it's a different level, and uh, try to to convince the player to play in the way you want. So now we are in the middle of the transfer market. You know, uh, I can't think about. Uh, over than a week, you know. But uh, if uh, we we want to look over uh, far from now, uh, if uh, I will be manager in ten years time in the Premier, that is because I will have success definitely uh, at window. Uh, that can be good for everyone. But uh, I, I I can't even uh, thinking about this because. Uh, uh, I want to think step by step because only in this way, work day after day, you can build uh, the success for uh, your squad, for the fans, for the club. Some of the fans on the website, some of the fans we've spoken to are a bit concerned about your politics and one sponsor has pulled out. What no. do you say to them? It's, uh, I don't think that is a right to speak about this because uh, my life speaks for me and uh, everyone can speculate about uh, different opinion. It's not fair. It's not fair because uh, it doesn't mean anything. I'm here as a manager, uh, Paolo Di Cagno man, everybody knows him, uh, I'm a normal person. So I'm sorry because, uh, of course, when there is a something negative like this, uh, a sponsor that leaves the club is not is not is not good. Uh, I'm not happy about this, of course. But uh, I hope they they can uh, change opinion in the future if they want. But uh, uh, what I can say is, if, uh, is uh, that maybe they gonna miss a chance to watch a nice football uh, playing from Swindon Town. So only this, uh, but. In, 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 we need only a positive uh, think around us because uh, everyone has to work uh, in the right way, in the same way for uh, bring Swindon Town in a League One so uh, for the other things uh, I don't want to I don't want to say nothing more because uh, there is no risk But what are your politics? Are you a fascist? No, man, uh, this is a uh, uh, it's not a, a question to do uh, I'm a manager and uh, to Apollo Di Gano. we are talking about football. Uh, my private life is my private life, and uh, my opinion is my opinion because otherwise but you have uh, made it public. No, you no, have made it no, public. No, no, no. Otherwise, everyone uh, we should speak uh, ten hours. Uh, otherwise, in life, everyone can judge uh, the other people. This is not good uh, because uh, I think in life it's important that uh, the man uh, behave in a right way. That uh, his, his story speak for him. Uh, he's a good person with the other people and stop. But, but everyone can have political or religion or society uh, opinion. So I don't want to talk about this because it doesn't mean anything.